Um, what is it? How can I help? Uh, never mind. Then I suggest we move on. Yeah. I'm here. What is that button? There's a button I hit, and she'll pull out her lightsaber, and I want her to do it. Oh man. Okay, what? whatever. We'll just go to the cantina. We didn't level up, but I think we can beat that guy, honestly. I don't see why we can't. Um, he really shouldn't be too difficult to beat. So, we'll go to the cantina. We'll probably be stopped, but that's all right. Um, so, let's look at our quest. Bendax Bounty, Escaping Terrace, Purchasing a Droid, Bastila, and the Duel Ring. Okay. So, we want to finish up the Duel Ring, and once we finish up the Duel Ring, we'll be able to do the Bendax Bounty. And from then we can proceed. Um, let's, yeah. We'll just go in here. We're going to do a fight, and we'll talk to Candrus. Unless it's a cutscene or whatever, but um, we'll do a fight and then we'll talk to Candorous, I think. And then depending. Oh, I saw you in the Damn swoop it. race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Um, what are you talking about? My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. Um, what do you plan how do you plan to do that? I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Uh, what's in this for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh, how, are you, how am I supposed to get inside the military base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nal. Just tell her Kander has sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Uh, um... Won't Davik get mad if I take his droid? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Okay, Candace, you've got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. All right, so he's going to be in Javier's cantina, which is the lower city cantina. So um, we can do basically all these bounties up on the upper world. I'm trying to think exactly how I want to go about this. Good fight, good fight. People like you, you mysterious. They bet. Okay, whatever. Too bad you lost, though. I don't pay you for losing, but I'll give you a rematch if you want one. Yeah, give me a rematch. Yes, rematch. People always bet lots on rematch. And who knows, stranger? Maybe we'll even win this time. Ladies and gentlemen, a legend in the sport. Yeah, we saw that. Can I skip? Please. Awesome. Um. Let's just use flurry. Okay, good hit. God damn it, dude. I can run away in med pack if I need to. Run away. No, run away, run away, run away. God damn it. The stranger is Fucking gone. asshole. Alright, let's try it again. I'm gonna beat this guy. I have to beat this guy. We got we gotta get through the whole dual ring. Right, right, right. Give me a rematch. 
Ladies, uh -huh. legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kid, but there's always... Alright. Let's throw a frag at him. Great throw. God damn, why does he get to hit me so much? Okay, cancel all these. Run away! Run away! Why can't I move? God damn it, game. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna keep finding him until I beat him. I have to. I have to. I don't like this guy. I don't know what level I'm supposed to be to beat him, but I have to beat him. Right, right, right. So I'll see you when I beat him. Alright, hopefully this strategy works. Seems like it is. There we go. Beat him. Great. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Marl is down and questions abound. Is this the end for the longtime bet? Is it time for Marl to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Twitch is waiting in the wings. Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? Awesome. We received. When's our next level up? I'd like to know that. Uh, we're a little far away. All right, let's get paid. Good fight. Good fight. People. Oh, yeah. I always pay my debts. Yep. Um, let's fight Twitch. Oh, Mr. I knew you'd be back. They all come back. You're getting quite the reputation, stranger. Everyone's excited. They all want to bet on your next match. I'm excited, too. More bets means more credits for me. You want to step into the ring now? Are you ready to prove yourself against the best duelist on Terrace? I'm ready for a duel. You've beaten almost everyone, human. I think you're ready to fight Twitch. Twitch might be crazy, but he's the best in the game. If you can beat him, you'll be the new champion. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Okay. So this guy, we're going to throw a frag. And we'll do two flurries. We already got hit. But that did some damage. Okay. I might need to take my time with this. Come on. I don't know if this guy uses health packs. We might need to heal up. Okay, I'm going to disengage one of them, put in a med pack, and keep fighting. Come on. Good. Come on, dude. You're getting your ass kicked. Alright, I'm gonna do another med pack just in case. Okay, great. We beat him. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, It's awesome. over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Twitch's reign of terror is over, ladies and gentlemen! We have a new champion, the Mysterious Stranger! Awesome. We won. Now we're the dual champion. Let's go get our money. Got more experience. Let's actually switch to yes. Bastila and do a cure. As you can see, it raises our guy's health. Do another one. Does he have max health? I don't know what, how many, what, where we got to get to, but... 
Um, we'll talk to Azur. Congratulations, Mysterious Ranger. You're the new du dual champion. Twitch had a good run, but you took him down. Here's the purse for beating Twitch. The bad news is that I don't have anyone left who wants to fight you. You're too good for your own good. Nobody wants to go in the ring with you. The only one left who will fight you is Bendak Starkiller, but he's retired. Too bad. People would pay a fortune to see you fight Bendak. Hmm. Well, since he's in here, let's go find him. He should just be... Not in this area. Not that one either. Um... There he is, Bendak. Hey, man. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion. But I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? Yeah, um, you're on Bendak. Bendak, name the time and place. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Awesome. So as we can see, we've kind of made our way through some of these. Bendak's bounty, we still can turn in, but Bastl and Karth, we got a thing for us. So we got to go get our droid. Um, and I think I might call it a part there, just because um, I think th this either will either be short or just about long enough, but for now, we're just going to call it. Um, oh, does she have another heal? Yes. Might as well heal that guy up. Yes. So her force points come back pretty well. So that's why it's like really good to use Jedi. Just because you have that free heal and you don't have to use med packs. Um, we'll probably stick with Jedi's, but there are some certain things that you're going to want to have other people with. So I believe the Sith base is in the other area. Yeah, yeah, the Sith base is in the other area. So next week... Um, oh my god. Where the hell is Karth? There he is. Come on, Karth. Come on, buddy. You'll get here. Come on. You're so, 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 so close. Nope. Oh, yep. I know. I know. I know. Women, right? Jesus Christ, Karth. Um, so let's go find our droid. Which is this building over here. Um, yeah, so next week... Bastila seems to have something on her mind. Perhaps you should talk to her about it. Uh, let's speak to Bastila. How can I help? Uh, do you want you want to talk to me about something? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Uh, before we rescued you, you mean? I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezhik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. I have plenty of med packs. Uh, can't you just admit that you were rescued? I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find you there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a vulgar prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Hey, don't worry, Sith guys. I'm only here with the Jedi. Um, and rescue the Dan- Nah. I had a lot of help. Karth Mission and Zalbar. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. The Jedi could have done such things, of course. But only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Uh... I think you're underestimating us non-Jedi. Perhaps. But the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... Um... But I'm glad I'm Force-sensitive, or I couldn't have rescued you. Ah, uh, yes. The rescue again. Very well. For what it's worth, I concede the point to you. You rescued me from Breshik, and yet we're still stuck here on Taurus. 
Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Yeah, hopefully. So, yeah. Um, I guess there's probably one more thing we can do. Like, one more speech we can do for mission. I don't know if Zalbar has any. I think Zalbar has his own story kind of later on. But, um, I think for now we can just focus on those two. Have you heard the news? Bendak Star, Star Killer is coming out of retirement to fight in a death match. Everybody's trying to get tickets to see it. I never understood why people always want to watch each other get killed. Droids don't think that way. Maybe that's why I like them better than people. Uh, Candrus said you sell me the T3M4 droid to me. Oh, Candrus sent you. Well, why didn't you say so? Okay. The droid is ready. You can have it for 2,000 credits. Um... That price is outrageous. I'll give you half. Half? If you're trying to rob me, why not just stick a blaster in my space? On the other hand, I do want you to stay on Davik's good side. Tell you what, he's yours for 1500 Um, It's a deal. Wow, look at you. Big spender. Okay, the T3M4 unit is yours. Pleasure doing business with you. A real pleasure. T3M4 has joined your party. Let's click the... Okay. Uh, let's get rid of... Karth, why a T3, and I guess we'll level him up too. I totally forgot about that. Come here, buddy. Uh, level you up. Attributes, um, modifiers to the number. Oh, I can't. I only have one point. Um, a high strength adds damp modifiers to melee damage and chance to hit. Um, what can we spend this on? I guess I must spend all of it. Let's just do strength, I guess. Uh, skills. Okay. Um, let's focus more. Repair. Okay. Yeah, we'll save that point, I guess. Level up again. Skills. Now we have an extra one. Let's do computer use. Repair security. And then awareness, I guess. I don't think it really matters. All right. Our droid buddy. Let's see. What is this? So the ability to integrate blasters into the weapon system. Okay, whatever. Droid is fitted with the most basic combat programming. Reduces the attack penalty of characters willing a double-bladed or two weapons. All right. Um, what's this? Demolition stealth, computer use. Well, let's just do this. He can use more damage output. Except, we'll level him up once more. Um, let's do computer use. Let's just max these out and then we'll save this point. Yep. Feats. Logic upgrade. So, having witnessed the effects of action of combat firsthand, the droid is able to self upgrade their defense algorithms. Okay. That's pretty great. Um,. Yeah, we'll just do this one, I guess. Okay. All right, perfect. We'll close that. Oh, we're a little robot zipping around. This actually is pretty quick, I think. All right. Um. So the Sith base is just right there. This little area. So yes. I think we're gonna call it there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If I missed anything, please leave in the comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you're subscribed. If you're subscribed, hit the bell button for notification. These videos come out every Tuesday. I also have a platinum playthrough of Fault New Vegas that comes out every Friday. Um, you should follow me on Twitter if you don't already. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I'm going to try and start doing more Fortnite. I'm trying to think about how I can do that on my PS4. Um... But that should, hopefully, I can figure that out soon. But next week, what we're going to do is we're going to do our Bendak. Um, and we're going to probably just, once we do Bendak, that's like kind of the last side quest we can do on Terrace. And we will do the Sith base. So uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.